That's farming through, you know. Gyrocopter can go and clear our ancients. Ten caps, seconds remaining. Queen of Pain. It's a regen rune, and you were talking about winning and losing the regen wars. When you get a rune like that, Queen of Pain just starts dominating. Sit on top of the enemy cliff. Yeah, the one downside First against Owen at bottom. First blood and a lane that I'm actually a little bit surprised that they were able to get a kill in. I thought that the Earthshaker. Worst comes to worst, would just be able to survive. I know people will blame the camera work or whatever, but I was just as responsible. Like, I could have called that out, and I had no idea that that was going to happen, because, you know, you buy the pretty stable one. I'm definitely going to be watching Tom Garant dropping low the cold feet, not going to keep it in place. Throws that rocket flare, but it's his side breath. He will go down. And I, I had actually looked at that bottom lane, I think, looking for these minute little missteps or mistakes and then maybe this is one sonic wave snowball but resolution's got this killed without a shadow of a doubt as a snowball comes straight back into him scream to secure and that's it fools. it almost just feels like because the level 11 hold bottlenecks you so much when it comes to experience like it's something absurd right Dial to get to level 11 it takes like nothing but once you get to level 11 it takes you like Six minutes just to kill him the yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Oh, oh Altez invis. He gets his ult. He's gonna kill. get the kill. 100%. Sunken like Strike does, yeah. Van score. Oh my god, that TP was getting close. The cold feet nearly traps him in. Now Altez, who's coming in? Rubik, Telekinesis, gonna be out of range. The Dark Pact will pop it off, and away he goes. Keeps himself alive just about. That was a great bit go bottom, because you can take down the tier 1 at the same time. Or at least pressure it heavily, but it looks like they want to get the kill on Iceberg, and always want to fly is going to be the target, uh, which is unfortunate. But you're almost always going to run into somebody on either side, and they might actually just run into advanced score now too. He's got the haste, luckily, but he's got to be really careful. <laughs> run, little disruptor, run! Shackle onto Rubik though with the focus fire. You get that kill. Iceberg finds it. Oh, the Sonic Wave onto the courier. Seven hundred oh, gold. That's a bottle. They've got the ward, they've got vision, five seconds until that blink forward, no resolution, trying to get the hits in, but Shackle into Snowball. He's gonna go for it. He's been locked down. Go for he a resolution. Is, of course, <laughs> blinks forward and TP's out. Still worth killing the killing the Wind Ranger. Obviously the Rubik was kind of a waste of death. But they got the courier completed, I think. If I'm not mistaken. He just uh, blocked up the Rubik. They've they've gotta know. Definitely exactly where he is. They go for the Rubik here. Vanscore's walked in, no telekinesis, and now resolution starts up. Gorat has found him with the kill. Trade off his disruptor. He's got to be careful, but he's got the tusk with him as well, so he can't really offensively blink. Uh, the slide play a bunch of support leaner as well as you know, a ton of other players, but recently he's gone for this like brown boots drums build on the leaner and still ended up with a 23 24 minute Yule's Ags. He doesn't upgrade boots, but he still gets these big core items. They found Goretz with the rocket barrage. Simple takedown. Artex now looking though with the glimpse pounce. They should be able to find Ivan, but he gets his echo slam down. Resolution throws the Sonic Wave, but he doesn't do a damn thing. Hit by the ice blast and a couple of heroes dropping low. But a two for one exchange there. Resolution blinking in aggressively. Real hard slipping and slipping. That's, that's even without the gyro dying. Yeah, gyro still 2 0 1. Oh, goodness, what have they found? They've got Ivan. Fisher not even going to come out. This is fun. Let's stop it still. Down a hell of a lot, for sure. Now, one thing I've noticed from Iceberg a lot of the time when he was playing Storm Spirit, he was always like trading. Oh, God, Silent has walked into this. The shackle with the snowball, the punch him up into the air, and Sonic Wave from Resolution onto the back end, kills off the clockwork, but they've lost their one roll. Ice Blast is way too late. Still gonna clip Vanscore here and a glimpse back. Resolution blink away. Artez. There's the uh, telekinesis into Dark Pact. He's Shadow Blades. Oh, he's already lost a couple of heroes. Resolution. He's gonna pick off this AA too. This is pretty absurd now. Oh my goodness. Really? I mean, this is just what Slark does when you're ahead. And this is what we've seen CIS rejects do time and time again. They get a little bit ahead. I guess this is obviously to get him a little bit faster towards Radiant's level 11, but... Is, is this also because that he knows... Oh god, Rubik. Yep, free hit, dead, gone. Artez, not even slowed down by the cold damage. Level 13, for example. True, true. And now Windranger with the Aghanim Scepter up and running. Got the Blink Dagger as well. They're gonna jump forward, silent, shackled up to the tree behind. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Uh, Rubik? Stole... Okay, stole Snowball. That bugged out for me. And it's bugged out for you as well, over on the side screen. While Artez goes in the back. Yeah, another kill on that Earthshaker. And Ivan Blink Dagger is like a pipe dream here. On but Windex. Oh, rest in peace. Who's he found? You're actually oh. so dead. 
Uh, there's no way to survive. It. Like he's trying to hide in the trees. Uh, he's, I, I mean, he's doing his best to try to survive. But it's a doggy dog world. Oh, it says oh, he might just die here. There's the orchid incoming. It's range and resolution can't blink forward. Yeah, you know, static storm into. Yeah, you have no vision on that side of the map. Yeah, if resolution had all the information in the world, he probably gets a kill there. But he doesn't. He has no idea. Oh man, do they have vision up high ground? No, they don't. Van Score tried Radiant to get the line there onto Silent Top Lane. Always want to fly in Arcus. They're going to kill him. Oh, shards. Punch. Hit. Echo Slam. There's a decent amount of lockdown there, but there's no reaction really. Ice Blast not even going to hit. And you can safely get that Shadow Blade tread? No, oh boy. From Silent. He, has Five, he doesn't oh. have the BKB. The Orchid's there. Van Score cannot get some back. Oh, that Shackle, though. That's a Glimmer Cape. The keep has dropped it down. Resolution will be able to escape, but the hook shot comes in. Gorat finds Silent with a blade mail. He's just shredding him. Gyrocopter down to 200 HP with the snowball forward, back and forth. The Rubik has snowball as well, but the Tusk has already finished off the gyrocopter. Guess guess who's here to clean up? You don't want to be. You don't want to mess with him. Ancients deny. Oh, that that actually slowed them so much. The force ice vortex, but. It's not even gonna matter. He's even gonna leave the last hit to always wanna fly. Cool guys look away. Oh wait, no, he got slowed down by the by the stolen frozen sigil. Okay, beast the wind ranger. Not uh, not going for the most drama there. Once that extra bit of survivability in the team fights, Artez just walks straight in, but the dark pact is up. He's found Windex, but he's gonna die here. He's that dead. ice blast is actually taking him over. Will we get finished off but the shackle is already here onto resolution and silent call down a little bit too late, but CIS rejects, they are in deep. And they really have to make this work because Ivan Echo Slam, one second's time, throws it out. A sonic wave, Resolution clears up house and they've killed off four. The pounce from Rubik just for show. And that's given them a bunch. BKB, Blink Dagger. Has Aegis there, he can back up the Wind Ranger and he'll destroy everybody. So there, I just didn't really see a point in not waiting it out. And Arches this time around, they're going to get the double shackle. Both supports are dead. They can't really afford this actually, to lose both of the supports. And now Silent's going to go down. He doesn't have the BKB. 100% gonna die here. Earthshaker manages to get out, but that's just three down the drain that don't necessarily have to die. <laughs> the res All Earthshaker really needs is that Blink Dagger, but having those side items like the Force Staff, the Ghost Scepter, would make a pretty big difference. And Resolution is just gonna get pounded so fast. It's gonna be a tier two tower mid, and simple as that. They're gonna lose this top tower. They, they should glyph this, I think. He just blinks forward and says, right, tower time, boys. We've got the creep wave in. Gets pushed back out a little bit. The TP's back from Empire though. The Ice Blast will clip Artez. Oh no! Oh, did the the Clockwork Rocket hit at the same time he was blink echoing? I think so. Yeah, that's actually what happened. Well, Iceberg is caught. He does not have Aegis. He did have a BKB, but he didn't use it just then. Always want to fly. He jumped in. But at this point, Artez. What's happening? Time to run away. I'm not entirely sure here because the Snowball is on cooldown. He's got a Horus Punch, Mech, and Solar Crest. So they could try and turn and fight, but with that Wind Ranger, I'm not sure about this one. Resolution. Okay, there we go. The Static Storm's down though, onto two. Ivan and the Rubik both caught down here. Ar Artez can't hit him. He was trapped behind the Fissure or something, and Tusk has already dropped. Now they turn back onto the Slark with the Ice Blast. They'll do a ton of damage. But Artez not having an inch of it. He's getting himself slowly but surely further away, away with that Shadow Blade. They lost, they lost a lot of heroes here though. I mean, the Queen of Pain, or the Wind Ranger just dove in, pushed down the train. Uh, it's probably not going to mean too much for them, but especially, actually, if they take you bot here, oh, he has no buyback. Dies in like half a second. They need the top. Just going for separate racks. It doesn't really matter. They know that the glyph is down. Iceberg yeah. might even pop the BKB preemptively for this if he thinks that there's danger, but he should be just fine. And that's a well-earned rack. And I mean, look at artists. What do you even do? Oh, jeez. I mean, there's behind enemy lines, and then there's Arta. Oh, be absolutely. careful of the Echo! Oh, that Ice Shards cancels his blink. He can blink now. He's got a couple of people lined up, and Goras jumps in with a cogs. He traps them both in their resolution. Those cogs are nasty. The Sonic Wave gets the Disruptor, but the Clockwork's still alive. Artez, the Echo Slam doesn't do anything against his BKB. Now he's got Silent in his sights. Another pounce, another hit here. And he'll clear up the Gyrocopter. He still has his ulti, too. There's no buyback for Gyro. Resolution came back. Did he buy back? He came back into this pretty yeah. quickly. Yep. He did. They're looking. Glyph has gone. Silent. Ice Blast. Okay, Ice Blast is coming in. Is this just time to go? It's going to miss? Yeah, keep going now. It's the big ability that stops the Slark from just overextending. 
you've got the Aegis available. You know, the thing is, if you just like pause this game, CIS rejects, they know the only way they lose this game is if there's a big echo. So all they have to do, no matter what, is not get big echoed. And look at that, Iceberg gets a BKB off. Like, Resolution can't do anything. He already uses ulti. There's too many heroes alive. And select flight, one after another. There's three, here's four. The fifth one, Resolution, where are you? Are In you the shackled? middle of battle. There we go. Empire tap out. Nothing much more to say about it. CIS rejects 38 to 19. Doubling up on the kills there, but from from a rocky it felt like a rocky laning phase. Not because Empire were overly aggressive or, you know, put fresh actual, you know, physical pressure on the opponents, but you know, a few little mistakes here and there, not lasting on the tower by uh, by the Slark. He didn't go for the Quelling Blade build. Uh, Earthshaker obviously dragged the lane back a little bit, but from there it was like, again, I look at three teams now, may maybe four, Complexity, Fire, CIS Rejects, and Monkey Business. And